Hi, welcome to this data visualization video. My name is Ahmed Oyelowo. In this video, I want to show you how you can easily find your way around the new Power BI formatting pane. So over the past couple of years, we have been used to a single style for formatting visuals. So if you check what the current formatting pane looks like, or maybe I should call it the old formatting pane now, you have every single uh, format control button in a single list, right? So everything you need to format, basically, you will find in this single list. But things have now changed. So let's take a look at what the new formatting pane looks like. Okay, so this is the new Power BI visualization pane. If I come over here to the right hand side to click on my format button, you will see that instead of the typical uh, one list formatting controls that we had earlier, we now have two different lists, right? So you can find your controls either under the visual tab or you can find them in the general tab. So how do you know exactly where you need to be, right? Should you find your control on visual or should you find your control on general? Now, the general guideline that I'm going to give to you is this. Typically, every single thing you see on your chart or on your visual are what that I like to refer to as your chart elements or your visual element. So, for example, I can see three bars. Those are chart elements. I can see some labels on the left hand side. Those are chart elements. And the chart elements that you have that you can see or that you probably can't see at the moment and may want to enable later are the reasons why you want to format your chart. Okay, now these chart elements, I now classify them into two categories. Those ones that are driven by the data and those ones that are not driven by the data. So, for example, if you have borders around your chart, you know that borders are not driven by your data, right? And then if you have titles on your chart as well, so you can decide to, to label your chart anything you like, right? So, you also agree with me that the title of your chart also is not driven by your data. So, those are the two things that I feel can guide you into knowing exactly where you need to be. So, for those things that are directly driven by your data, you know that you have to be under the visual uh, tab for you to find the formatting control that you need. And for those things that are not directly driven by the data, then you find those ones under the general tab. Okay, so if I go to general now, for example, that's where you go to see properties and it is under properties that you can set things like the height or basically the size of your of your chart. You also see your title over there. And if you go to effect, you can see where you can format your background and where you can also apply some other uh, effects like uh, shadows, right? And borders as well to your chart. Meanwhile, if you go to the visual section, that's where you mostly see those things that are data driven, even though uh, I've seen that there are one or two things here that are not exactly data driven. So, for example, uh, if I scroll down over here, you are going to see that you have uh, the plot uh, area background somewhere here, which uh, is not necessarily driven by the data. So, you can basically bring in a picture, for example, and you can do some other things about the plot area of your chart so that's just one thing that i feel is misplaced over here but generally speaking uh every chart element that is driven by your data you find on visual those ones that are not driven by data you find on general so how do you get used to this new format pane you basically have to you know play around it and look at where uh you have different options for all the things that you have known from the older uh formatting pane so Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can always receive prompt updates on all our new videos.